So now we are going to learn the next type of network interconnecting devices and that is hub. Well, there are two categories of hub. One is the passive hub and another is the active hub. Well, first of all, we must know what is the hub. Then afterward, we can discuss the difference between the active and the passive hub. Let us suppose that I am taking one device. Now, this device is having some port. So this is, I am assuming, is the hub. It is having the ports. Let us suppose I am assuming it is the four ports is having. Now, these ports are the ports which are connecting the RJ45 cable means these are the network ports. So I can connect four Ethernet cables with RJ45 connector and then four computers can be easily connected with that. So that is C1, C2, C3 and C4. Now C stands for the computer. So now these four computers can be connected with each other with the help of hub. And now these four computers are working like a LAN, local area network, because hub is the networking device and it is also the LAN device. So now these computers are into the LAN. LAN means the local area network. Local area network is the network which is having less than 10 kilometer of the range means if we are connected one building or one office together, that is a LAN. So these four computers are now connected together. They can share the data with each other. So this is the advantage of hub that we can connect the multiple computers together. So now with the help of that, we can connect the four computers. Now we are going to take out the difference between active and the passive hubs. So now we are learning the difference between the passive hub and the active hub. So first I am taking is the passive hub, then I am taking is the active hub. When the passive hub was invented, at that time there was only four ports. But now you can see that there are multiple ports there into the passive hub also. An active hub is having the eight ports at that time. But this is not true right now. So we can say that the passive hub contain less ports but the active hub contain more ports but let me tell you one thing this ports is not the differentiation between active and passive there is something very much different the different is that there is no coupling and there is coupling coupling is possible now coupling means couple Couple means joining together. So joining together. I am taking one more example to make you understand. Now let us suppose that I am having a hub. I am assuming that this is hub 1 and it is having the four ports. So that means four computers can be connected. C1, C2, C3 and C4. Now, if I want to increase the number of computer, that is not possible with the help of the passive hub because coupling is not possible. But let us suppose that human want more port because we know that we are never satisfied. So if we have one more hub, so it is hub 2. Again, let us suppose it is having the four ports. It can connect four computers. Let us suppose C5. C6, C7, and C8. We know that that this one is the LAN one right now because hub is different and this one is the LAN two. These are the separate separate LANs. But I want that these all eight should be into one particular network. That is not possible with the passive hub. But if I use the active hub, so active hub give us the option of coupling. Coupling means one wire from hub 2 will be going to hub 1 and connect them. So this is called the coupling. Coupling means I can couple them. Now after coupling, this all will become into one LAN. So they can communicate with each other. 
how many computers are there in this network now there are eight computers present in this network similarly if i want the 12 ports or 12 computer i want to connect then i will couple the three hubs in this way so coupling can take place so this coupling is only possible into the active hub now very easy to understand in passive hub there is no active component active component means there is no as such component by which we can work we can work that means you see we are purchasing the hub from the market and installed it and working with the four ports because no coupling is there nothing is required no programming nothing but if i talk about the active hub then obviously there is coupling and whenever there is coupling that means there is some kind of ic's present then some kind of transistors are present and if this ic and transistors are present and these are called the active components so active components are present because we have to work here work here means whenever we are coupling two things there should be some kind of decision making and who can do the decision making active components like ic and transistor so active hub also contains such thing and one very good thing about the active hub is there that is the repeater is present the repeater means if signals are lost then it can be modified but into the passive hub there is no repeater so there is no signal booster which is present into the passive hub but in the active hub it is required because you see whenever we are going from hub 1 to hub 2 if sometime the signal become loss then obviously repeaters are present to boost those signal so if i talk about the problem of passive hub then the problem of passive hub is there there is no coupling and that problem is resolved with the active hub but if i talk about the problem with the active hub then there is the physical connection that is the major problem with the active hub now to understand this physical connection we should understand what is it so guys to understand the physical connection actually physical connection is more problem in the active hub but also a physical connection is there in the passive hub but problem is less you see the property of hub that all ports are connected with the single wire and this wire is called the physical connection now what is the meaning of that physical connection means the single wire to make you understand about this thing i am taking one example let us suppose that these are not the ports these are some kind of plugs so these are four plugs this is not hub this is the multi board and there are not four computer these are the four devices that is suppose one is the laptop one is your fan one is ac and one is another charging point now these four devices are connected with the sockets now what is going through at your home you know that every device is having a separate switch means if you are going to switch on the power of tube only tube tube will on if you are going to switch off the power of fan then fan will off that means fan tube bulb ac all are having the separate switches so separate connection is there but if i talk about this particular diagram then this is a kind of physical connection means all are connected if i switch on all the appliance will on means ac will on fan will on tube will on bulb will on but if i don't want the ac that is a problem so to understand this i am taking one example now let us suppose that the c1 computer want to communicate with c3 what will happen c1 will start transmitting the data with the ethernet cable which is having and going to the port now with this particular wire the data is going in this manner so it is the movement of data packets with the help of arrow i am showing let us suppose parallelly at the same time c4 want to communicate with c2 and c4 also started the data sending 
through its ethernet cable now it is going to the port and the data is moving you can see that c4 and c1 send it the data at the same time now the wire is single means single connection between all the ports so what will happen at that place there will be the collision so now here the collision will happen and due to collision what will be there you we know that it is sending a data it is sending the data so if both are collided then collision means packet loss so the one problem with the physical connection is that the packet loss so packet will be loss now to overcome with the packet loss we are having the error correction and the detection policies or we are having the collision detection and correction policies and there is one more solution is that retransmission of data but we know that it is not the case one time if let us suppose that after some time again c1 and c4 are starting again collision will happen so multiple time collision will reduce the efficiency of the network and one more problem with the physical connection is there and that is the broadcasting so broadcasting problem is there also now let us suppose that only c1 want to send the data to c3 this time nobody else is sending the data what will happen c1 started the data sending now it is going towards c3 but in between c2 is coming and all are connected so data is also sent to c2 although it is sent to c3 the proper destination also it is sent to the c4 also that means the data cannot be privately accessed between c1 and c3 so that is the problem of broadcasting broadcasting means if c1 is sending the data to c3 it is unnecessarily sent to the c2 and c4 as well so that is the problem of broadcasting also but this collision and broadcasting is not as such problem with the passive hub why because there was only four five ports you know that if four people are there in a group then the the problem is less but why this problem is more emphasized into active hub because you see that at this time there are coupling when the coupling is there multiple hubs can be connected if let us suppose that you have connected three or four hubs then there are multiple port and you assume what will happen more collision will be there now how they will work in the coupling you know if c1 want to send the data to c6 again there is a physical connection here and here because physical connection is the major problem with the hub but as it is increasing the coupling problem will be more because more people means more data sending more data sending means more collision so more problem now i am just telling you how the data will be sent so c1 will first of all send the data and also this data is sent to c2 c3 and c4 as per the broadcasting it will check that c6 is not there so it will go out and sending the data with the help of the wire which is set for the coupling then out will come into that network and it will see that it will send to the c6 also the data is sent to the c5 c7 and c8 so this problem is not yet emphasized which is the broadcasting problem because at this time our main task is to increase the number of ports so at that time we were struggling with the network capacity means adding more computers so we have slightly ignored that broadcasting problem but yeah when the coupling was there then this physical connection and broadcasting problem emphasized as more so the active hub is having the problem of physical connection now to remove all these problems one more network device is invented that is called the switch